Hi, welcome to our video. Today I'm going to demonstrate a Giddings & Lewis Winslow Model HC Drill Point Grinder. This machine is currently wired for 460 volts. Comes with some tooling that we'll talk about in just a moment. Um, currently wired for 460. Comes with its own manual. Very important because there's a lot of instructions for this machine. Helical pointing, an addendum to that. The tooling. <clears throat> All the bushing index plates for the different size drills. All the different drill holders. Um, show you how this stuff goes in. Um, any one of these cam plates we're going to use just to show you. Plate gets mounted up on the machine like so. Let's put this here, that there. Slide it onto the head, twist the knob. Mm -mm -mm. Take out the safety. There we go. Well, you lock the knob. You would, of course, index it to whatever size drill you're doing. We're not actually going to put a drill in here right now. Um, anyway, that's the drill plate. This is the loading station for loading the drill bits into the actual drill holders that come with this machine. There is a set of drill holders here that go from 062 up to 656. Grab a drill holder just to show you. This is the loading station. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not real familiar with this machine, so there we go. Goes in like so. You would put your drill in here. Oh, sorry, I didn't have it in. There we go. I got to get it in the right way. There we go. It's spring-loaded on a cam, so it opens up the drill holder. You can set your drill in there. Bring your point down so you can set it exactly where you want it. Not sure exactly how to do that, but it's all explained in the book. Take the drill out of there. Anyway, if your drill was loaded in the drill holder, you would go ahead and bring it over here. Lock it into position. Normally this machine won't run with the co cover open, but we've got the switch blocked just so we can show you for demonstration purposes. Um, you turn on the grinding wheel, which sounds good. Um, you can manually bring the, the, bring the wheel in or out to get it close to your drill point, wherever you want to go. You lock it in. Set your motion to start the cycle. And it also has an infeed. I gotta back up the infeed first, excuse me. Now it's backed up and it's ready to feed. Start the cycle. It will be rotating your drill against the wheel. And then this is the infeed. It has an adjustable stop too. You can throw the stop up so it hits the pin wherever you want it to stop. Then when it's completed its cycle, back it up, it pulled the drill out. Um, it does also have its own coolant pump. There's nothing in it. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Start the coolant pump, but there's nothing in it. Stop your cycle. Stop your grinding motor. Remove your drill that's not in here, and you're good to go. Um, normally the cover looks like this when, the when you're running the machine. Everything's protected for the operator has its own work light, needs uh, air supply too, about 80 PSI, um, comes with the cam plates, the books, the drill holders that I spoke about. I think that's about it. Thanks for watching our video.